In our Detroit 2020 report this week, Amazon delivered news. Well, many of us simply didn't want to hear. They won't be coming to Detroit. One of the reasons given our state's school system is not making the grade. Seven Action News reporter Kim Russell tells us this comes as a new study finds the state is underfunding education. Right now in Michigan, schools get their primary funding from the state and the base per pupil rate is between about 7600 and 8200. But now a new study taking a look at exactly how much is needed to educate students found that the minimum base rate needed is about 9590. The numbers don't add up. This is a look at the more than 300 page school finance research collaborative study. It was put together by businesses, school leaders and nonprofits in Michigan. This was a group of people that came together again, both Republicans, Democrats, business leaders, educators. We all came together and there was a common belief that the school funding system is not working here in Michigan. The superintendent for the Wayne Reese School District, Randy Leopa, says the broken system is a problem that impacts not just children in our schools, but costs every single person in Michigan opportunity. For example, when Amazon announced it would not be locating its new headquarters in Detroit, one reason given, the schools don't meet the grade. And if you look at our performance compared to the rest of the country, both in regards to growth and in regards to how our students are improving, and their proficiency rates, we're near the bottom. And so that has to be corrected if we're going to be competitive here in Michigan. Superintendent Liapa says being competitive requires resources. He says the study's researchers called on the state to not just increase base funding, but to provide more for special services. $9,590 is the base cost that's been identified and that there are weighted factors that there's a certain percentage of additional dollars that are needed for English language learners, that are needed for at-risk students, that are needed for special education students. Now, of course, the state is not the only source of funding for schools, but researchers say even with federal funding, there is still a shortfall. They say if you're concerned, contact your lawmakers. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.